Hello everyone, it's Copes here and today I'm back with a Pocket Morty's video. In today's video, we will be doing Morty's whole family on one single team. So currently I have one Beth, one Morty, one Rick, and then two Summers. I can either do a combination to get Jerry Morty with the two Summers, or find a Jerry Morty in the wild, or find another Summer Morty so then I can do the combination and have all five of the family members on one team. So we're gonna go around searching for either Summer or Jerry Morty. Morticia, no way. We just got a full team of level 100 Morticias. Is it even worth getting her? Right now we have nine. Do we really need 10? Do we need 20? How many do we need? Let's see if our Morty is one shot against her. She's level 74. She does have a lot of HP. Oh my God. She went down to 1 HP, that means we have to put this Morty Manipulator chip on her and capture her, adding her to the list, adding her to our team, 10 Morticias on our team. That is crazy. I'm gonna keep searching for either Summer or Jerry Morty. If I find anything interesting or if I find one of them, I will be back. Come on, loot box lock! No. Loot box lock! No. Loot box lock. Not again. Loot box lock. Come on. Come on. Give me a coupon. No. Nope. All these Mortys and not a single summer one. Come on. Give me some loot box luck, please. Hey, a level up Mega Seed isn't bad. Come on. Give me some loot box luck. Come on. Now. Another Morticia. No, we're not even gonna bother. Look at all these Mortys. What the hell? Where are you, Summer? Oh, wait, there's Sunner. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? <laughs> oh, Summer, Summer, Summer. Yeah. Let's switch out to our more powerful Summer Morty at level 72. Hit this girl a couple times. Get her on our team. Go do an evolution so we can get a level 100 Jerry Morty. Then we'll have a level 74 um, Summer Morty as well on our team. Then we'll have the whole family on our team. We'll go out and we'll do some killing. See how powerful this team is. Alright, I think with one more hit we'll be able to capture her. Maybe we could capture her right now. But one more hit will secure this capture. And there we go. She killed off our Summer. So we'll have to go heal up. There also is a loot box right nearby. I'm really hoping I can get two more coupons this episode i don't think i'll be able to but if i was able to i would be very happy and we could buy chair rick this episode maybe i would leave you guys with a cliffhanger even though you know what i would be doing but maybe i'll leave it for next episode if i end up getting two more or i'll do it this episode i really don't know well i guess time will tell let's go see if this loot box holds a coupon that's the only thing i'm really looking for nope it doesn't that sucks we got one level up Mega Seed, which is very rare if you did not know. Let's heal up, combine Summer Morty, and then get Jerry Morty on our team alongside Summer, Rick, Beth, and then the regular Morty. Look at all these Morticias, and we have four at level 100, and we only have five Cronenberg Mortys. We have two times that for Morticias, and then we have a bunch of other Mortys. A bunch of rare and unique Mortys. Well, I guess not unique, just rare. Hopefully this gives us a level 100 Jerry Morty. If it does, I might be doing a video on this guy soon. There we go. All right, let's get out of here and put him on our team. He is already on our team, so we're just going to add Summer right now. What order do we want to put these guys in just so they look really cool? I think we'll do Morty, Summer, Beth, Jerry, Rick. Let's do it like that. Okay, Summer, Beth. And then Rick at the bottom. I think that's a good order. I don't know why exactly. There we go. We have the full family on our team. We have three of the family members at level 100. And then Rick is the least powerful right now. But we'll level him up later. We'll probably do a combination to get him to level 100. But we'll worry about doing that later. Let's start using out these Mortys. Trying them out. I might as well just switch my order around to whatever Morty I want to use first. Let's switch out to Summer and see how powerful she is at level 74. Against a rock type, she will be more effective than if it was against any other type if you did not know. Let's try out Mood Kill. That's her first attack. I'm assuming it's her most powerful since that AP is lower than her other attack move. The less AP it has, most- Holy shit! One hit? Wait, was that one hit? Why was it so powerful? Let's try out Beth. 
and see if she can one hit this guy obviously she will she has three attack moves we're gonna check out everyone's stats and see who is the best on this team except for the morty of course who is the best right now all right so summer has a couple attack moves yes mood kill is a power of 113 erase is only a power of 70 it does have a couple more attacks but still not very useful in this game at this level right now let's check out beth she has a lot higher hp at level 100 mood kill is 113 power outpour is 120 power both very good attacks and soul search searches for the answers within but only finds an urge to lash out with a potential to paralyze with that you'll be able to attack the enemy with one hit and then possibly paralyze them let's check out jerry he does have the same exact hp mood kill is a power of 113 i think that's the same as beth and outpour is a power of 120 and then he has grieve it shares grief with the enemy inflicting damage and stealing energy that's a very good attack move i'll have to show you guys what that does exactly i don't really want to explain it i'll just show you it yeah i think these guys have the same exact attacks what the heck i did not know that they do okay let's see if rick has the same attacks no he has mood kill and soul search and grieve so yes he has three of the same attacks he has more hp than summer even though he's 16 levels below so I guess the higher evolution, like I've been saying all this time, is more effective than any other evolution below that. Alright, here we go. Let's face a Rick boss, Rick trainer, whatever you want to call it. I call it both, honestly. I don't know exactly what got me to saying Rick boss, but Rick boss sounds best. A level 76 is Sleep Morty with 6 less HP than my level 100 Beth Morty. These Mortys aren't very powerful. I think once you get to Rick... That will be the most powerful Morty, like I've been saying this whole time. Let's try out Mood Kill. He's going to take out a Scissors type, of course. We're still going to keep Beth out and try this out. It did about 84, no, 80, or no, 74 damage with one hit. Let's try out Outpour. A little bit more powerful attack. Yes, kills him with one extra hit. I wonder how much damage that would have done if she would have used it the first time. Let's try it out against a Sleep Morty. He is a rock type. That means it should be a little bit more effective, but it's not. This Morty must just be a, um, more powerful than the No Skin Morty. Let's try out this Paper type attack. This one was more effective. If you did not know, the Paper type attacks are more powerful against rock types. Scissors are more powerful against Paper types. And Rock is more powerful against Scissors type. All right, let's continue on and try out one mood kill hit against Detective Morty. See if it's one hit, and it is. Wow, this Beth is way more powerful than I was expecting, honestly. Let's switch out to Jerry Morty and see if he's just as powerful. So they're all paper type, I think. Let me just make sure of that. Let's switch. All right, yep, they're all paper type except for the regular Morty who is no type. My regular Morty will be one hit against everyone. That's why I really don't want to use him this episode. The only reason I do use him is to gather Schmeckles. I can't capture any Mortys with him because he's way too powerful. And he one hits everyone except, there's always exceptions, Morticia earlier this episode was at 1 HP. Only 1 HP though, so that's really nothing. Maybe if the stars were aligned a little bit differently, she would have been one hit, but she wasn't. We're going to go around and kill a bunch of Ricks, probably not a bunch, maybe a couple at most. And that way, we'll see if the Mortys we're facing start to level up more. I think I'm going to do a more in-depth episode explaining exactly what I mean by that. But for this episode, I'll just give a brief explanation. This is my theory. The more badges you get by defeating Rick trainers or Rick bosses, whatever you'd like to call them, the higher level Mortys you will be facing against trainers rick trainers and R morty's in the wild i have this horrible soda honey cream it's like some kind of cream soda it's not tasty at all i would not recommend getting it another morticia are you oh my god we have to go up to her and see if our morty is one hit on her this morticia is a little bit less hp if i recall than the other morticia we ran into earlier i'll use one of his weaker attacks and we'll see if she's one hit if she's not 
We'll end up capturing her just because, nope, she's one hit. I don't really care, guys. I already have 10. How many more do I need? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If I run into any more family members, I will be capturing them this episode. I don't think we'll be playing too much longer for this episode, but we'll see. All right, let's switch out to Beth. Every Morty we faced at that last Rick Trainer was a Rock type. Maybe these will all be Scissors type. I hope not. I would suggest if you have a paper type, using your regular attack. Don't use that paper type attack against the scissors. It won't be as effective as if you use your regular attack. Let's just try it out. Let's try out mood kill and see if it is effective. It's not as effective as that first swing was when it wasn't a paper type attack. Let's just take out um, Rick and see how powerful he is against an Afro Morty who is a scissors type at level 73. So let's use Grieve and I'll show you what this does. Okay, that was very powerful. Grieve, I'm pretty sure will regain this Morty some HP. Yes, it does. How many times does it hit him? Only one time though. So that is not very effective. He will die against this Afro Morty with one more hit. Then we'll take out Jerry Morty and try him out again. Maybe Summer Morty. Let's, yeah, let's just take out Summer Morty and try her out. Test our luck against Afro Morty. Let's see. Come on. Take him out. I don't think we're going to be able to beat this guy without using our regular Morty. And it definitely does not look like that. This Afro Morty was so powerful. He almost took out three of my Mortys. And one was level 100, which that's pretty, I mean, that's a pretty strong Morty. All right, it's not all scissors type does it really matter no it doesn't because once we take out our regular morty it's going to be one hit against every morty we go against so really it doesn't matter but just for the sake of this episode i, I was wondering if every trainer had the same morty types i guess not i think i already knew that but i was just making sure all right let's take out jerry morty i think he's one of the more powerful mortys i think he's more powerful than beth so with two more hits, we should die against this crazy cat Morty unless we take him out. It does not look like we'll take him out. We'll try out Mood Kill and I'll show you it's less effective. Nope, I can't even show you. I was going to say it was less effective than that non-paper type attack. Come on, Morty, you have to come clutch it for your whole family. Your whole family is depending on you. You're the youngest, but you got to clutch it. And you will as long as you get the first hit in against all these other Mortys. All right, wait, I can't switch. Oh my God, they're all dazed. Come on, Morty. No, he got the first hit in 10 HP. If one more Morty gets one hit in, we are screwed. I don't really care to use any serums or should I? I probably should, fuck it. I'll use it. We'll see if it was worth, we'll see if it was worth it. If any of these Mortys get the first hit in. Of course, Raptor Morty will get a hit in since we used an item, but I wonder if he would have if we didn't use that item. He might have. Our Morty's speed is very low right now. Once we get more speed Mega Seeds, we will add them to this Morty just so he's a little bit quicker on his feet. And we need to raise up his defense a little bit because he is pretty weak. All right, one more swing against... Oh, wow. Yeah, he did get the first attack in, but thankfully he didn't hit us. He wouldn't have taken us out with one hit, but we are facing a level 78 Morty. I was facing level 50 Mortys or level 40 Mortys a couple weeks ago. Now it's about double what what level it used to be. I have not faced a level 80 Morty yet. Once I face that, I think my theory will be correct. I'm hoping one day we only find level 100 Mortys in the wild. If we can do that, that will make this game so much easier. And then after that, after I get all my Mortys level 100, I will be starting a new series. Let's check out how many badges we have. We have 75 currently. Soon I'll be doing an episode of me gathering a bunch of badges, maybe like 10 to 15 badges in one episode. That will be very easy if I'm using the one true Morty and then my regular Morty. Um, until then, just tell me if you guys want that. All right, let's take out Jerry Morty. I don't really care to use the regular Morty for the sake of this video because I always use him unless we get into a sticky situation where we won't get the badge unless we use him. That's the only way I'll, that's the only reason I'll use him. A level 78, my god. Yeah, we're screwed guys. We are screwed without our regular Morty. We're gonna have to use him. 
I know we are because these Mortys are gonna take us all out. Once he gets one hit in, I'll show you the Grieve attack, even though I showed you it on the Rick. Let's see if it's a little bit more effective. So with one more hit, he won't take us out. Let's see how much HP Jerry Morty gains from one hit on this guy. Only 15 HP. It's really not that effective, but I think it is a very cool attack move. All right, fuck it. Let's just keep Jerry Morty out. And if we get the first hit in, I think we'll get a little bit more HP than that. 17 HP only. With one hit, we're probably going to die. I'm going to just keep using this Grieve attack move. Nope, we die. I don't know why the Mortys I face are so much more effective than my Mortys. It seems like he did more damage than I did, but I had a 25 level advantage. There we go, Beth. You go, girl. Or wait, that's a guy. Wait, that's Morty dressed up as Beth, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. All right, there we go. Ghostly Morty is down. I think after I defeat this Rick, I will be ending this episode. It was very short because this whole day I was spending it with family. It is Mother's Day currently, and of course I have to spend it with family. I mean, I'm not complaining about it, but that's just what I had. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode. I have one tip for you guys. It's a real-life tip. If you're looking to drink less of any any liquids, my god, one hit. If you're looking to drink less liquids, pick up yourself some honey cream, americana, delicious vintage handcrafted, sweet sweetened with pure sugar cane. Pick you up some of that and trust me, you won't want to drink this bullshit. But I th this is the only drink I have. I really don't even want to take another sip. It's so horrible. Oh, God. Ah, Who made this? Who made this drink? Fuck you. If you're watching this video, or if, you're, if your dad or your mother created this drink, just go tell them to fuck, fuck off and die, honestly. Cancel. Cancel the company. This drink is horrible. Feed it to the cows, maybe. Level 79, this is the highest level Morty we've ever seen. With one more hit, we'll take out Swim Room Morty, we'll defeat this Rick Trainer, and we'll get another badge. Badge number 76. There we go. Ha ha ha, yeah. I still want to play on this account, guys. Even if I get all my Mortys to level 100, I still want to play on this account, but one day I will be making a new account and doing a walkthrough type gameplay with that account. So once I get some new technology like a new iPad or a new phone, I will be making videos, walkthrough videos on Pocket Mortys. So I hope you guys would enjoy those types of videos. I have a very serious question for you guys and I didn't ask this last episode, so I'm gonna ask it this episode. Who here would donate to me if I started a donation page? You just be honest with me, say no, I wouldn't fucking donate to you, you piece of shit. Or, yeah, I might think about donating to you, but the only reason, I don't want to get a regular job, I don't want a real job, I want this job, I want YouTube to be my job. Right now, it would be more of a part-time job, I wouldn't be able to support myself financially, but soon enough, I think I could be able to do that, and with your guys' help, I know I could be able to do that. So. You guys leave your comments telling me if you would donate to me. If you wouldn't, just be honest with me. But yeah, that's going to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comment section. I really hope you have a great day, guys. I will see you later. Bye-bye.